Good day, friends. I need you to find our cool car dealerships sheet that we made that helped us learn about absolute values. We're going to use something now called VLOOKUP to calculate everybody's bonus. So type bonus out in column F, click on the total sales, and use the paint format to put the cool formats in that place. Click add sheet, grab sheet 4 and put it at the end of our project. Double click it and let's name it bonus. We are going to determine our bonus by calculating from the sales and they'll get a certain bonus amount. Under sales I want you to type the number 5,000 and press enter and then do 10,000 and press enter. Grab those two cells and drag it down until it goes up to 70,000 let's say. And then for our bonus we're going to put $750 and we're going to put uh, $1,250. And then grab those two numbers and add those so that they stretch all the way out too. With those in place, go back to your salaries page and let's create the awesome VLOOKUP formula. Type equals and hit VLOOKUP. And we want to VLOOKUP by our sales number. And then we want to hit the comma and notice what we just did was we found the search key. So it's going to search for that first number and then it's asking us where to search. So an example is here. Our example is over on the bonus page. We want to search all these numbers and then go back to that formula by putting a comma. So now it says what column do we care about? Well, we wanted to find column 1, but then use the number in column 2. So we put a 2 there. And then we press comma, and our number is sorted, so we can put the word true for the sorting. When we press enter and go back, a person with $1,750 in sales, let's double check, it would be $1,750. So it finds the one closest. To make that formula work for everybody, we need to go back to it. And notice it's always going to search this area. So we need to do the dollar signs in front of the A, in front of the 2, and in front of the B, and in front of the 15. So we've just made this an absolute location. When we press enter, we can grab that formula and drag it down. Now everybody gets their uh, money calculated. We need to turn it into money. And then we need to calculate their total salary. We need to put in the word total salary. And then we just need the simple formula where we add the sales plus their bonus to find out how much each person makes. And copy that formula down. Use the paint format to get your format across. Click on our old total formulas before and move those across. Add that label for totals so that it looks more classy. Select that whole bottom row and highlight it as well using the fill colors. I'm going to use a different fill color than up top. I'm going to also change the font color for that row. Remember, you don't want red because that means bad things. I'm going to make it blue, and I'm going to make it bold. And then we're going to do one last skill before wrapping this up. Go back to your sales. Click on the sales tab. Select from salesperson all the way down to the final number, and find your insert chart button. When the window pops up, check out how cool your chart looks. Uh, I've got the person that sold. I've got how many cars, trucks, and vans. I'm going to shrink it so that it fits a little better on my screen, but you can see all the important data that easily. Once you've created all of your charts, I want you to go to your salaries page where you've got the pictures of all of our tabs and our project, and I need you to do a screenshot of it. With that selected area, all in there so you can show me the formulas and the totals stretch to make sure it's perfect hit save and 
then turn it in in Google Classroom. I'm going to name mine Auto Factory or Auto Store, and then it's ready to turn in.